OSVF sham link. In this video, I'm going to talk about the sham link when we are using OSVF routing protocol between the P and C. For understanding the concept of sham link and after that, configuring the sham link, the first things that we should talk about that is the need for sham link. How we can use sham link for, for example, finding a solution to a problem. Let me to show you, let me talk about the sham link and after that we can configure the sham link. You know that when we are using OSPF between CE means customer edge and PE, for example, in this scenario, we have one CE and one PE, between them, we run the OSPF. And after that, you know that P, the first PE connected to the P rotors, P or P rotors, and after that we have or for example, the next P, again, we use the OSPF between the P and C. This is our scenario. This is our scenario. This is the general view of the scenario. Assume that in the CE, the left CE, and between the left C and left P, we use area one, okay? And also, or area zero, for example, in the right ce between the p and c we used area uh, for example one you know that when one pass learned from the uh, left ce left p from the left c for example net a in the right side as i mentioned before we will receive lsa type 3 for net A. You know how uh, how OSPF reconstructs the packet when we have the BGP and then we need to redistribute the BGP to OSPF in the right C in normal scenarios in the for example normal redistribution we expect to receiving LSA type 5 but in MPLS layer 3 VPN we have LSA type 3 and because of that in the C, in the right C, we will see the net A as one inter area OSPF rules, O I A. And this is okay. Why? Because the roots received from the area zero. In area one, this root has code of O I A. This is okay. But we have another condition. The next condition is that when we are using area zero in the left side and also area zero in the right side, Again, when we advertising the net A from the BGP of the provider to the OSPF between the PC, again we receive this update with with the LSA type three, and this means that we are receiving net A one of the internal routes in the OSPF in the uh, area zero as a code with the code of OIA. You know that. The area zero here is the area zero in the right side, and also in the left side we used area zero. This means that in real uh, networks, in the networks without MPLS layer three VPN, we expect to receiving the area zero's interface addresses or area zero's addresses subnets in uh, in other routers of that area with the code of O means intra area. But here we are receiving uh, OIA code. In many cases, it is not a, a problem for us. It is not bad for us. In many cases, the OIA is equal with the O for us and we don't need to do anything, for example, in normal scenarios. But in some cases, maybe we encounter with a problem with this behavior of the MPLS layer 3 VPN. Let me to show you one of them. Look at here. Here we have one service provider. This is the SP. SP is the abbreviation of the service provider. This service provider connected to one customer in, uh, for example, two PEs. This is the first PE. R2 is the first PE. PE1, for example. And R3 is the next PE, PE2. Okay. Let me to use PE2 and PE3. Maybe it's easier. And after that, we have one P, one P rotor. P means provider rotor, not provider H. For example, P1, okay? P R1 is our provider one rotor, R2 is PE2, and R3 is PE3. And also we have two CEs. This is the CE4, for example. R4 is the CE4, means customer H4. And also R5 is the CE5 or customer H5. 
five. Okay, for some seconds, let me to, uh, for example, removing this vector link. If you don't have this vector link, let me to show you. This is the vector faster than zero one to faster than zero one. I'm going to remove it for some second. This is the normal scenario. In normal scenario, in the normal conditions, okay, without vector links, when you are advertising the quad four slash thirty two of the C four. This is quad four. Let me to show you to the R2. This update should be sent with LSA type one or two. Uh, for example, to the to rotor four with LSA type one. When this update received in the rotor two, the neighbor of the rotor four, rotor two should advertise should redistribute this update to the BGP, and then BGP should send this update to the. Uh, for example, rotor three, and we will receive this update in the rotor three with BGP, with IBGP, as you know. And also, you know that in this update, we have many parameters, for example, road target and BGP extended communities. This is the IBGP update. And finally, when this update received in R3, and when you redistribute BGP into the OSPF, here we have the, uh, for example, LSA type 3, LSA type 3, that is include the uh, this update, okay, look at here, quad 4, quad 4 is uh, received in the rotor 5, but with the code of OIA, okay, OIA here is area 0, also here is area 0, until now we don't have any problem, but assume that, and now I add one link between the, uh, for example, rotor four and rotor five. This is the direct link. This is the backdoor link between the rotor four and rotor five. And in many cases, we are using the backdoor link as a backup for the MPLS VPN. We need to use MPLS VPN network. And when MPLS VPN fails, we want to use the backdoor link. But look at here, here we have some uh, in desired situation, undesired situation. What is the undesired situation? Look at here. When you are advertising the quad 4 slash 32 over the backdoor link with OSPF in area 0 to the, uh, for example, rotor 5, rotor 5 now is received, is receiving the quad 4 slash 32 with both LSA type 1 and also LSA type 3 means here is uh, the quad 4 slash 32 is available with the code of O, O means intra area and also from the rotor 3 it receives the root with the code of OIA with the LSA type 3 and you know that in OSPF we have a rule that rule says in every time or always, the intra area routes are preferred to inter area from to, uh, to the inf inter area routes. Means O is better than OIA, and you can't change this behavior. This means that in all times, R5 you uh, should use the backdoor link routes, and also only when the backdoor link uh, fa is failed, it can use the next. Uh, for example, pass. And this is the bad condition. We don't want desired con condition. We don't want this situation. How we can solve the problem? If you want to solve the problem, you can't change them as, for example, metric. Why? Because with metric, uh, metric has a lower preference to the OSPF type routes. The first you should find two routes with same AOSPF time for ex a type, for example, both of them are intra or inter root. And after that, you can use the metric because of that with metric, you can change the behavior. Here we need one new feature. The feature that feature's name is Shamlink. When you are configuring Shamlink, okay, after configuring Shamlink, it is exactly with the situation that we have a direct link between the rotor 2 and rotor 3 but we don't have direct link in the uh, physical uh, for example physically this sham link is the virtual link that we can configure it after we configure this sham link the LSAs received in R2 can send exactly with the same type for example if you send here LSA type 1 R2 can send this LSA type 1 to R3. 
or LSE, or, or LSE 